Why is it that super hot pathogens tend not to evolve? Most infectious diseases of humans do not kill all humans all of the time. Why is that? And the answer we would normally give is that a super hot pathogen, one that kills all of its hosts all of the time, is not going to have an evolutionary future. It kills its host, it kills itself, and that's the end of it. Now if that's true, and it seems like a reasonable proposition, what happens when you bring in a vaccine that is going to keep the host alive? Now that pathogen is not wiped out. If the vaccine is keeping the host alive, but not stopping that pathogen from transmitting on, under those circumstances then you can imagine these hot strains now persisting in a population. So broadly speaking, we can think about two types of vaccines. There are vaccines which stop the onward transmission of the pathogen from the host. Those include things like smallpox, polio, mumps, rubella, measles, those sorts of childhood diseases. The vaccines we have in humans against those are very, very good and they stop transmission. But there's another category of vaccines which we call leaky vaccines, which don't prevent that transmission. So they protect the host, but they allow some transmission of that pathogen on to other hosts. Those two types of vaccines, the perfect vaccine that stops transmission and the leaky vaccines, they're gonna have very different outcomes. The perfect vaccines stop evolution. They don't allow the transmission, so there's no more evolution. The leaky vaccines, the ones that allow this transmission onto new hosts, they allow evolution of these pathogens because they can evolve from host to host to host and so change. So the leaky vaccines are the ones that we're concerned with.